going to take this acquisition to the next level and leverage its value? I mean, we we think a bit, I not think the music industry is now every year having the new heights. It's been a the last decade has just been growing thanks to technology and to the geograph geography because we have we we have more and more countries are ship uh, are shipping in money or sharing and listening to music subscription services, uh, and that's why the music industry is just growing every year. Due to that, we are you know just looking at the band that has been in fifty years. You know, constant showing and doing tours and being having concerts and also have sold more than 100 million albums and we believe there you know and not everyone loves kiss but those people who love kiss they really love the kiss the band and we are setting up with since we've been responsible and been the, uh, the head financier of uh, the abba boys show we are see that what you can do and taking kiss into the next generation of, of a concert tour like like about voyage that's kiss. what we're planning to do but besides that we're also looking into how can you how can you endorse expose music to new generation if you think about today the music on spotify and other streaming services they're more of a catalog listening there, meaning catalog, meaning older music than new music, which is sensational. And that's really what we want to do. We want to expose the, the classic music of Kiss into your new generation. That's really what we're going to do. I remember dressing up as Kiss as a kid, so I'm definitely a big fan. But Pear, talk to me about the double-edged sword that is AI, because naturally it can work for you. You can generate AI-generated content like ABBA Voyage, yeah. but also there's the problem of AI companies illegally accessing and mining your digital music, and also the issue of voice cloning. How do you combat that? I mean, we see already things have happened, you know, and, and the DSPs, meaning, you know, Apple, um, YouTube, Spotify, uh, streaming services, when this happens, they're really quick to take it down. But you should also know that this is things we always challenge in, in when it comes to, you know, every evolution. I mean, we had the digital evolution of music when we had uh, Napster, Pirate Bay, just almost smashing down the music industry. But eventually, we all get in, in line and respect copyrights. And today, uh, you know, everywhere in the world, you know, Peloton, um, uh, in Instagram, Facebook, everyone is today paying for uh, use, using music in their services. And that's what's really going to happen again with, with AI. I mean, I think that AI is a fantastic, will be a fantastic tool, but it can also, as you say, be a double-edged sword, meaning that it can also be uh, used in, in in bad situation, meaning that you can uh, expose and take advantage of what other you know creators have done. I don't believe that this will be a positive thing for the, in the future, and we will eventually find the right solution for it. Thanks to that, everyone respects copyright. So, Perry, you, you paid a, a pretty penny for this catalog of music from Kiss, three hundred million. Uh, just to put that in context, Michael Jackson's catalog sold for about six hundred million. As you mentioned, not everybody loves Kiss, but they do have a very strong following. They also have many decades of pumping out merchandising um, and different products. So, how do you take this to the next leg? I mean, they've already put out T-shirts, mailboxes, just about everything else you can imagine. What other marketing opportunities do you see outside of AI in the digital landscape? When it comes to merchandise and you know uh, delivering uh, greatest hits and etc cetera, etc cetera, that's that's preaching to the choir meaning that to the to the you we will we want to convert people that never has been exposed for for kiss that's really what we believe in we believe in the what they do and in the and in the in their personas as as four different kind of characters that we can take into the next level of, of entertainment. We can take these avatar versions into video games, into, into I mean, they already did Marvel Comics magazines in, in their heydays. And so it's, it's not about making it bigger in the way to the, already, to the fans. The fans would love them to tour, continue to tour, but Kiss have decided enough is enough. We want to end, end on a high. And we want to then show the rest of the world and the coming generation that KISS was an iconic band with fantastic music. And, and, and to do that, we need a, a vehicle. If that's a biopic, if that's a TV series with, of their history, we're going to do, we are already in, in the documentary in the works. So all of this is just to find ways to come to the, to the newer generations with their fantastic uh, franchise called KISS.